Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today I'm going to be doing a book review on I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings by Maya Angelou. I read this book for Band Books Week and oh my gosh, I loved it. If you didn't know, this is the autobiography of Maya Angelou and this is actually volume one. I believe there are four volumes out and they just chronicle different periods of her life and this one is basically from birth until about 16 or 17 years old. <sighs> This book, man, like, I'm not really gonna do a plot synopsis because you don't really need to know much more than it's a story about Maya Angelou's life, but holy cow has she been through a lot. And even just covering the first, like, 17 years, like, what? She speaks with such openness and honesty and just really truthful about the things that have happened in her life and the way that they have affected her. The writing in this book is just so beautiful. I have posted so many quotes from this book onto my Tumblr. It was getting a little bit excessive, but I also don't apologize for that because I believe that it is completely worth it. I feel like she just has such good insight into just society, the way that we live, the way that we think, the way other people view us and how that affects us. The story mainly takes place in the 1930s in the South, which was a really interesting perspective because she touches upon how like the depression affected people differently, especially like white people versus black people. And I feel like this is just such an interesting insight into the way of life and the way things were during this time. I really enjoyed reading this, especially since I had just finished reading Brown Girl Dreaming by Jacqueline Woodson and just having just that fuller perspective on being a person of color in the South during this time period. Although obviously Brown Girl Dreaming takes place like 20 or 30 years after this book takes place, but just having that fuller perspective and that fuller idea. I also just like the idea of just covering what people of color were doing during this time period. Like I feel like you hear about black people during the times of like slavery and then the Civil War happens and then it sort of just like stops being a topic until about the 1960s when the Civil Rights Movement takes place. Like that's how I feel like American history kind of is covered and so there's this whole time period like at the end of the 1800s and at the beginning of the 1900s you know there's like a good like 100 years <laughs> or 50 years that doesn't get covered really and so I feel like this is a really good insight into that world and into that time period. This is a book that is frequently banned in schools. Like the reason why I picked it up is because I always like to pick one of the books that are like so highly banned according to the American Library Association's website. And this is in like the top five all the time in terms of being banned from schools. And I kind of understand it in the sense that like this book is like raw. Like it does not hold back. Maya Angelou does not hold back. She tells you the truth about things. Like she is honest about the violence and the assault and like sexual assault and just everything that happens to her in this book like she is honest and she is forthright and stuff like that freaks people out and I completely understand why it would freak people out because even me reading it like there was one chapter where I read it and I had to like just put the book down and just like take a break from it because it affected me but I think that that's important like it's supposed to affect you like topics like that are supposed to be disturbing like you shouldn't read about someone's sexual assault and be okay. That's sort of why like I hate it when books get banned because a lot of times it's just like parents being scared of what their kids are going to be exposed to but at the same time I read this and I was like you know what if you're in high school you probably should read it and know exactly what it's like. You know it could help prevent people from doing this to someone else or it could help people deal with it if it has happened to them you know so. I don't know. That's just my two cents. I'm not here to parent anyone's kids because I don't even have children, so who am I to say anything? But I will say this. If you haven't read anything by Maya Angelou, pick it up. Get something by her. Start reading her. This is, again, like I said, the first of four. I will be continuing on because I want to know so much more about her life. Like, I know, like, bits and pieces about Maya Angelou's life because, you know, she's a famous writer and I've done research or read about her in the past, but I'm really excited to just see things from her point of view and just to see where her journey takes her. So yeah, those are my quick thoughts on I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings by Maya Angelou. If you read this book or if you read Maya Angelou's other books, feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys thought of it. Or if you have any questions about the book, obviously leave that down in the comment section as well. So yeah, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching.